So we've got two tiny transmitters. One is made by Flysky and it's got 7 channels and the other one is made by Dumba RC and this one has got 6 channels. But which is best? Which do I prefer? That's what we are going to find out today. <laughs> So the transmitter overall, so the Dumbo RC has got a pretty nice feel to it. Both have got like the carbon pattern on it which gives it uh, yeah, a good amount of decent grip and that's, uh, that's fine. So the transmitter from Dumbo RC has got a better feel to it. I'm, yeah, it, maybe it's because of the weight or something and uh, the trigger and the steering. Yeah, I really like uh, that on the Dumbo RC. But keep in mind the Dumbo RC is much heavier than the Fly. Sky. And that's because the Dumbo RC uses 4 uh, AA batteries and the Flysky uses 4 AAA batteries. So the weight difference between the Dumbo RC and the Flysky is about 100 grams or something. So the Flysky transmitter has got also a very nice feel to it. It's very tiny, it's capable of one hand driving and it's got a foam wheel which I prefer. So if you take a look at the Dumbo RC, the Dumbo RC feels more sturdier and yeah it's more luxurious than uh, the Flysky one. But uh, yeah this one uh, does the job. If we look at all the channels, uh, the Flysky you've got of course your channel number 1 and channel number 2 for your steering and throttle and then you have the channel number uh, 3 and 4. So on the Flysky you've got two dip switches uh, to turn them on and off and on the Dumbo RC they are press buttons. So press it once the light will, uh, uh, will turn on, then it's engaged, press it again and it will be disengaged. So that's a difference to mention but both channel 3 and channel 4 are on the top of the remote control. So channel number 5, that's a big difference. Because on the Flysky you've got a 3 position switch right on the side here. <laughs> And the 3 position switch can for example be used if you want to have a winch for example. Channel number 5 on the uh, Dumbo RC is this dial right over there. So you have to open this lid to access channel number 5. And yes you can use it for a winch but it is very sensitive so turning the winch uh, completely off can be a bit tricky. Uh, yeah, so uh, maybe you can have it uh, for something else, but yeah, I like the channel 5 on the Flysky more than this one from Dumbo RC. So if we look at channel number 6, there's also a big difference. So this button over here uh, on the Flysky model is channel number 6. And this uh, is only engaged if you press and hold this button. So if you got a servo and you press this one, the servo will be engaged. But when you release it again, the servo will go back to its original position. This can come in uh, handy if you want to use dig for example. Maybe you have got some other options for that, but yeah, mainly it is used for the dig function uh, on a crawler car. Uh, if you look at the Dumbo RC which uh, uh, has got the same button or uh, yeah almost the same position. Uh, this one if you press it it is totally engaged and when you press it again it will be disengaged. So in some uh, situation this can be uh, yeah more useful than the one from Flysky. So both have got uh, 6 channels but the Flysky has got 7 channels and the 7th channel is this button right over here. So this button is mainly used if you want to have rear wheel steering. What that means when you uh, uh, yeah, use it like stock then you have got only front wheel steering. When you press it once rear wheel steering will be engaged. Press it again, then you uh, your rear wheel steering servo will be reversed, so you do you can do the crab walk. When you press it again, only rear wheel steering will be engaged, and the front wheels won't do anything. Press it once again, and then everything is back to normal. So that's a function that mostly uh, most of the time is used on crawler cars, and yeah, maybe you can uh, find some other things for it. But uh, yeah, that's a thing uh, to uh, keep in mind uh, on the channel seven of the Flysky. 
So for boat transmitter you've got a menu to change a lot of things. You can change the endpoints uh, of the, each channel and yeah you have to read the manual to uh, to do it properly. But yeah both have got uh, the, the options to set endpoints of every channel there is. There is one thing what I really like about the Flysky which the Dumbo RC doesn't have. And that's the different models. So in the Flysky uh, uh, transmitter you can set up five different RC cars. You cannot do that with the Dumbo RC and in my opinion that's a shame. Because this one can be only be bound to for example uh, one uh, receiver then you can set, adjust the endpoints but if you want to use it on a different car then you have to set the endpoints again. So you cannot easily switch between two, gar uh, two cars where, or two receivers with this transmitter. But you can with the Flysky because you can program five different cars to this uh, uh, transmitter so you can uh, yeah bind it to five different receivers and set all the endpoints and uh, the reverse things whatever you want for five different cars and I really love that function so both transmitter has got pros and cons and if you ask me there's only one winner and that's the fly sky and that's mainly because you can program it for five different uh, receivers or five different cars and I really like that. What I don't like about the uh, fly sky is the channel number six because you have to press and hold it to engage the servo when you release it again then it will be disengaged. On the Dumbo RC it's just press it and then the servo will be engaged, press it again and then it will be disengaged. And that's, uh, yeah, that, I prefer that of the Dumbo RC. Uh, so guys, that was my opinion about the t those two tiny receivers. Please uh, keep supporting me. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.